we have Rapid Trend Gainer here. And it's another product that's been released by uh, Carl Dittman. And you've probably seen quite a few of his stuff on my YouTube channel. And the reason is this. Trading is not about your strategy. All right. How you enter your trade is not the main driving point of any trading strategy. It's how you manage your trades and risk management. Van Tharp, Tom Basso, look those people up. They did a test using a random coin flip with strict money management and risk management protocols, and it made money. And what I like about Carl's stuff is it'll give you an objective entry. A lot of you traders are out there looking for the perfect setup, right? You go to Forex, any sort of the uh, Forex forums out there or trading forums. People are always talking about setups. Setups are not the number one thing. Okay, so if Carl's stuff takes you away from that mindset of the perfect setup, then Carl's stuff suits you, all right? And I've had comments, you know, oh, you're marketing his stuff. You know, I do it for a reason, and that's the reason why. And I've got enough emails from people, enough comments. I don't always uh, publish on my YouTube channel. But people that are understanding this concept are doing actually very, very well with either Pips Wizard Pro, uh, the Infinity Scalper, and now we're going to check out Rapid Trend Gainer. All right, first of all, the manual. You need the manual, period. End of story. You cannot just start trading blindly. Um, obviously, there's uh, the disclaimer there. And here we got here, you got your step-by-step -step user guide, which we're looking at right now. The algorithm is explained in detail. Rapid Trend Gainer, the software itself, a live action screenshots, and the, um, you know, he's going to help you kind of thing. Uh, first of all, very easy to install. If you have uh, MetaTrader, which you need, it's very simple to install. Mine's already installed. Just follow the instructions here. There's also a, um, a link that you can watch. Okay, I'm going to scroll through this pretty quickly. Uh, obviously make sure this is enabled you need your receipt number if you enter your receipt number it will be valid if you return it it no longer works okay that's simple this is great uh you get the informer we see this a lot on carl's stuff it tells you everything you need to know actually in um when you're buying this product there's also um another product you can purchase to go along with this that'll make these even clearer for you let me just grab a picture of those for you. And you can see it right here. Yeah, this is what it looks like. It's called the Turbo Trade Assistant. And it's after you purchase, you will see a link for this stuff as well. And you can see that it looks pretty good. If you think about it, it gives you everything cut and dry, entering your trades, et cetera, et cetera. This actually makes it a little bit easier for you and even tells you, because uh, you get three different take profits, right? Which ones you're going to take. So that's actually quite handy. You didn't have that before. Um, let's go through some important rules. You definitely, doesn't matter what you're trading, okay? Do not use on a flat market. Unless you know how to do price action trading, stay away from any markets that are going in consolidations, okay? They can be difficult to trade, but from these movements, we get the nice movements. A global trend. Remember, trend is your friend. Um, absolutely. And I brought this up here. It's another product they have. It's um, only look at sell trades, only look at buy trades. Uh, you can also look at Forex Trendy. There's a link above if you want to get a hold of that. And it'll give you an objective measure of the trend direction. So just because you're going to get buy and sell signals, you don't want to take them all. You want to take in the direction of the dominant trend. And you've seen in my other videos, what I've done is I use a moving average. You can use a 200 period moving average. You can use a 100 period, a 50 period, 20 period, whatever you want to use. Just know I'm a swing trader, period. I love it. Uh, I'll use the bigger long-term moving averages, okay? Uh, so you can put on a moving average. I don't know why he's not including a moving average. Um, just mention it here. That actually should be done. Uh, do not trade and do not use indicator on a sideways trend. Well, that's kind of rule number one, right? Flat market. Uh, if you don't, good results are not guaranteed. And I don't care what strategy you're using. Very important. Check the news. Okay, we can't argue against that. Um, it's going to show you stop loss. You know what? Let's just go right to the chart, okay? You buy when a light uh, arrow appears. Sell when a red arrow. And you've got your different... Let's cover this first. Exit trade when the price reaches your profit one. You can show level names. I've done that already. Uh, number two, 
number three. So you got different take profit levels. This is great because this is going to keep you objective. Too many traders will market out of a trade or get out of a trade uh, because they've made a few pips. Meanwhile, it keeps on running. Objectivity. The more you can mechanicize, mechanicalize things, uh, the better off you're going to be. So let's take a look here. We got the uh, stop loss here. We've got the blue arrow here. So we'd enter on this candle here. Take profit one, two, and here's your dynamic profit target. Just for this, I stuck on a 200 period moving average. All right, that's it. You can use whatever you want. So this is just the um, uh, 15 minute chart I brought up here. Because I know a lot of you guys uh, and girls, and men, and women like to day trade. Okay, so now this is the 12th of September. So let's just go to September 11th. Um, let's start looking what we got here. We're only looking for long trades, right? Because we're above the 200 period um, simple moving average I'm using. We would ignore this trade to go short. We have this trade to go long here on this candle here. Just for, we can go over this. Um, let's judge this on the opening price. Okay, so when this candle, when this appears, we're going to look at the opening price and that's how we're going to judge how this is looking. So obviously, this is where it opened. You had your profit one, two, and three. And you can see it got both of those. So you got it at 143. This is a 143. And you got out at 143.40. So you got a 40 pip day trade right here. And that took not a whole lot of time, right? That took roughly uh, well, yeah. under an hour, just over an hour. We have a trade to go short. We ignore it. Here's a long trade here. Uh, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. People will trade that. Enter on the open of this candle, and we go up here to the first one. It's 31 pips, and uh, that's, that's it, 11th to the 12th, okay, because it's only a 15-minute chart. Um, let's look at another pair. Let's just check out the Euro US dollar. I know a lot of people like to trade that. Only looking for shorts. We're down below the 200-period moving average, okay? So you can see this trade here. When the price opens up, basically, this is a fast trade. Spikes down, gives you 10 pips, right? These are 15-minute trade charts, okay? We would ignore the long trades. We're looking for short, 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 short. Uh, we're looking for longs here because we are above the 200 period moving average, right? Just take the trend. Enter on this candle here, the open. Profit target of 27 pips. Uh, this is a short trade. We would ignore that. A long trade, we get in here at the open, which is right here. We took some heat, did not hit our stop loss, and then it finally rallied up. And you can see that there wasn't a whole lot of uh, room here on this trade, which is great because it actually kept the uh, profit targets pretty close together. So we're going to go in the open. So you got uh, 20 odd pips here. All right, let's take a look at some swing trades. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm going to stick on the Euro US dollar. I'm not going to cherry pick these. We got a short trade here. We don't take because we're looking for long trades. This actually uh, triggers in, actually does go to profit. But if we get in on the open, well, actually, it would actually have gotten you. I was going to say it took you out, but it doesn't because there's a big spike on this green candle. So you get in when the market opens. Remember, this is a daily chart. It's going to take a long time. Uh, this rallies up to basically 92 pips. Price comes up to down to your stop loss, but look at the take profit target. Let me just zoom in. That's like quite interesting. We have our long trade here, right? The market opens here. You're in this trade. Rallies up. You're in the trade, 100 pips, pulls back down here, and you're out of the trade already. It comes around and would stop you out if you're just ignoring these. Okay, so that's actually a great example of the dynamic. This is actually almost like I predicted it. Obviously, you can't predict, but short trade we ignore. Another long trade here on the open, really tight. You got, what, 25 pips. Doesn't stop you out, but you do get your profit target here. Uh, we ignore this. It's a short trade. So, so far, we're, we're doing pretty good. This is weird, right? Because it's it's right around the um, the moving average. And we could make up some rules to uh, take advantage of this, you know, go price action. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to say, okay, you would have missed this trade because our, our moving average, which starts to go flat anyhow. Um, but if for some reason you did take this, 176 pips. We have a short trade here. Price is below the moving average. We look for it. We take our short. Price opens uh, right here, right? Where is it open? It opens here. And then we've got... So what happened was this candle would print. 
before this candle, we got this red this red arrow into the trade. So we're entering at the open like we've talked about. We got three different trade profit targets, right? Now, some traders will look and go, well, it's, it's kind of going above the 200 period moving average. Are we going to go back up there? Stick to the targets, right? One, two, and three. So you can scale out here for 58. You scale it here, it's 80 pips. We don't get down here, obviously. But as a trader and you're looking at, we're challenging that 200 period, you might have gotten out. But bottom line is, we didn't get our stop loss. Your profit targets, they worked. Price is below. We don't take this trade, even though it does work out. We take the short trade here. We get on in the open. Challenges are stop, right? Remember, these are dynamic. So if the market is moving fast, big candles, you can get a wider stop. If we got small, small candlesticks, right? The volatility is not, not there. You're going to get smaller ones. Price opens here. We drop down. We almost got to the bottom here for 117 pips, but we get these trades. We rally against us. You would be out of this trade. There's no way you're going to get in this trade and watch it go against you after you're up. You know, uh, bottom line is 102 pips. And then eventually comes back down, takes it out. But you should be out of this trade. You should not be letting it go back against you. Uh, we'll skip this long trade. Still short here. Get in the open. This trade drops down for 130 pips. Hope you're doing the calculations here. Prices below. Get in on the open. It's the open of this candle is right here. You probably would have got stopped out on this trade. You would have got stopped out on this trade. So we've got one loser. Not bad. Price is below. You know, this is when you're looking at moving averages. When you see price chopping around these averages, don't trade, right? Go to another market. When you get these kind of moves, when we're away from the moving average, you want to trade it. But when you're starting to congest around it, you know, and I'm not just making this up just to say it for this product. Check any trading book. If you see price slopping around moving average, you don't trade it. It's that simple. Let's check out the uh, U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar, because uh, the Canadian dollar got some strength going on. Let's see how we would have got in this trade if we got any of them. This is the daily chart. So we would have uh, not been able to take advantage of this trade here for whatever reason, but that's just what it is. And this trade here, like, where's the entry? We get in on the open, which is here. We don't get stopped out. If you look, the stops up here, and the high doesn't get there. We get in on the open, take a little bit of heat, comes back around 100 pips. This would have been nicer in through here. How would we have done on a four hour chart? Because you can trade this on four hours as well. Um, get in on the open, we get down to 130 pips. So what you could do is have a bunch of charts open, you know, the uh, daily and the four hour, for example. This trade here, you get in on the open, we get down to the first take profit, comes back, stops you out. You could actually use these take profits as uh, trade management areas. Perhaps you, uh, I don't know what your account is, perhaps you scale out at these profit targets. You could do that as well. You can use them as trade management where you move your stop in. Okay, U.S. Canadian dollar is not something you're going to want to day trade. It's not a great day trading market. Let's look at the pound U.S. Let me just find that if I have it here. Oh, there we go. All right, let's go to our daily chart because I'm a swing trader. Uh, well, we've got a nice trade here. And in the open, uh, 130 pips there. We don't take the short, which does work out, right? But that's 160 pips. Uh, where we got here? We can get on the open. We've got our take profits all the way at 200 pips. We have another one here. This is a really tight trade. Uh, you make some of your profits and then it pulls back around. Um, short trade we ignore. We're here starting to slop around. You can ignore that. This is upside trade. We don't take it because we're below their average. Now, this will change. If I used a 50 period moving average, which, uh, you know, that's going to change some stuff. So we've also got, uh, over here we start getting price slopping around. Once you start seeing this, we talked about this earlier. Uh, you know, that's, that's a problem. We, um, using a 50 now. Uh, again, you know, you get in on the open, you get your trade here, 82 pips. So again, it depends on what kind of, um, how, you, how you're going to trade. If you're more of a day trader, maybe you want to go down to a 20 period moving average. Let's drop down to a 15-minute chart, and we'll see what happens with this. This is pound US. You get in here. You don't get your stop. You're up for 26 pips. Again, we're trading with the trend, right? The overall trend. 
Uh, we get in here at the open on this red candle, take a little bit of heat, nothing happens. We come down here for 10 pips. Um, starts chopping around. Once you start putting in this kind of stuff, like I said, you get to your first target, take some action. You're close enough to your second target, take some more action. All right. Uh, we're going to go through these over and over again in a whole bunch of videos. Just find ways we can fine tune it a little bit, but we're not going to change any of the settings that come with this strategy. Okay. This trade here, um, you get a little bit and then it pulls back against you, takes you out here for 15 odd pips. Uh, a short trade here, it's not working out. But again, this is at, look at the times, right? This is 2300 hours. This is almost midnight. There's nothing going on at this time. Same over here, you know, well, this is 7 o'clock in the morning. This Some people may trade this. Uh, usually, overlap session, you want to start 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, that way, you get London and New York. So, when you're looking at day trading, you want to make sure you're not trading in those hours that are, are uh, not conducive to price movement, right? Trading the Asian session, you know, from my time, at 7 o'clock New York and onwards. It's not worth it. It's a waste of time. If you're trading the London session, different story, you know, 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning to about 5-ish first couple of hours right for day trading you're looking at 8 to 11 8 30 to 11 maybe 9 depending on the news releases that come out uh for london us all right so you can look at it that way but like i said before i'm a i'm a i'm a swing trader through and through so you could uh again do your own testing do you want a 20 period for swings you can do that right your swings are going to be shorter obviously you're you're going to be probably get more opportunity to trade but uh let's just keep it here uh, we've got our stop losses that are printed up here, our take profits. We enter when this candle forms. I'm sorry, when the arrow forms. Uh, best thing to do is test it yourself. Uh, like I said, like my, all the other videos, I'm going to keep running through them. Uh, pick it up. Let me know how it goes, okay? Thanks.